Affinity Photo can be used to create all kinds of unique pattern designs super quick. Very elaborate ones, all from very basic shape designs. And you can use multiple copies of patterns to create even more stunning designs. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to create the shape that I use to develop the pattern. And you can distort it again, of course. You can always simply, simply with that, resize it a bit and filters and repeat the form and create maybe a completely unique design again. So undo. With that, I can now create a selection. So rectangular marquee tool, because I want to create a pattern. Need to create a pattern from a pixel layer. So it's a pixel layer and I can select any part of it. I'm just going to go down that interesting bit right down the center. With that selected, I can then go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. And I get that. And what I can then do is I can use the move tool and I can resize it. I think that's quite an interesting pattern design already. But you'll notice it's not without its edges. You may like that. Personally, I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to set the mirror option on. And it creates something like that, slightly smoother design. And then you can resize that and you can see a basis of a very decent pattern straight away. But also what you can do is you can rotate that pattern, something like that, maybe resize it a bit. And exactly the same as before, you can go to layer and you can rasterize or you can right click and rasterize. So rasterize it, turns it into a pixel layer. Because the thing is, you can't create a pattern from a pattern unless you rasterize it. So with this raster layer, then simply again, go over here, rectangular marquee tool, select that, and then just drag down over the interesting parts of the design. Of course, it's fairly similar. So just select that. And again, layer and new pattern layer from selection. And now you've got that more complex design. Well, again, simply move tool, and then go up here again and select mirror. And you've got that slightly more complex design but you can see this design is then repeated and repeated. As mentioned, you could use other shapes. You can also use other gradients, maybe the star tool. So select that, then go up here to the fill, click on here, and then go to the swatches. Now I've got a number of different gradients. Please check out my videos on how to create gradients. And maybe select something like this, one that's got sort of repeat designs like that. I would love to see a repeat feature within the gradient tool, but unfortunately you have to manually create it. With this, you can duplicate that as well. Simply select it, hold down the ultra option key and duplicate that design and repeat that. And you can maybe create five or 10 of them. And again, exact same as before, and rotate it. And also the great thing about this is you can select them, maybe change the number of points and also again, rotate it and tweak that and so on. Well, once you've got that design, do exactly the same as before. Drag over all of them, right click, and then group. So they're all grouped, and now you can rasterize them. So layer, and you could use, of course, the right click menu as well, so rasterize. And again, rectangular marquee tool, select that, and just drag over there. Now I want to avoid any sort of this, obviously I don't want that, transparency. So I'm just going to go down the center. Down the center there, I could select that. But also before that, I can distort it again. So again, move tool, filters, and you'll notice it's already there. So I can use that one. Just try it. Create something like that. Don't have to. Of course, you can just create your own deform again, a different one. Select that. And now just drag over there. And you've got some fairly unusual design, which you can then go to layer, New pattern layer from selection, and you've got that. You've got lovely curves, and, and of course, you could use exactly the same with circles and so on, but I went for, obviously, a star to show you can use other shapes, or any image as well, or type. Then go over here, the move tool, and again, click the mirror on, and then you can resize this, you can move this around, maybe increase that, and of course, you can also apply effects. So simply go to a layer, and down here to rasterize again. And now apply effect, maybe repeat deform, but maybe apply some blurs or distort. And maybe use twirl. Just apply a little twirl in the center of it. And drag and apply. And again, 
to select the rectangle marquee tool, select an area you like, I think this is quite an interesting part, and then go to layer, and down here to new pattern layer from section, and again, always go back to the move tool and select mirror, and then you've got your very unique pattern. How to do this? Just go over here, this is for PC or Mac, and I'm just gonna use the ellipse tool. You could use other shapes as well, perfectly reasonable to use other shapes, but I'm just gonna use a very basic circle. And you can fill it with all kinds of colors. Just click up here and select a swatch or modify a gradient. Please check my videos how to use the swatches. With this design, you can create multiple copies of this circle and also duplicate it as well. Hold down the Alter Option key and just drag and then rotate it. So you just create an unusual design like that. Something very basic, but still this design can then be used to create that pattern design. Select all of those circles, then right click and select group. You need to group them, so all grouped into a single grouping that can be rasterized. So right click and now rasterize. With that, you can modify a bit or just keep it like this. This is a perfect, great start point, but I like to rasterize it and then deform it. So filters, distort and deform. With that, you can add some pins. And I can just distort it in all kinds of ways. And of course, you will be able to create different designs, but you can simply just drag down like that, it creates a nice globule-like design. Sort of one of those lava lamp-like designs. And you can, of course, move it around, reposition it, click and distort it in all kinds of ways. And then click apply. 